Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today uh, we will just uh, install a roof rack guys on a car and <clears throat> let me tell you now we've been on a budget now, uh, moving and stuff, quite quite, uh, quite a bit of heat, financial heat there so I was looking for a, for a roof rack okay, that I can use on the Fiesta and this Elantra as well but <clears throat> I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars, two, three hundreds, you know, the, the good quality ones and then I bought one okay and that was a very big mistake okay check it out now I'll never ever put that on the car this is so unstable it's going to fly away even if you're going 30 40 mile an hour down the road so I bought this one and didn't even use it but stay with us to see guys we found one that's great and it's very very affordable we will have the links in the description of the video it looks like it's really well built and stay with us to see if it really is okay and as you can see this one actually comes with uh, with three different kinds okay and those guys those are heavy duty look at that thing i cannot i cannot bend that thing no matter what i do unless you hit it with a hammer but it's nothing like that cheap one that i bought before so you can see that everything everything that comes in the box, quite a few things, but you don't use all of them. Uh, for instance, you have these four here, four and four. You use only, only one set of them because uh, only one set will fit really good on your vehicle. So we got one of the rails ready, guys, just to see how that thing works so we can explain a little bit better on the other one. Okay, so what you need to do now, okay, we will need to install the bolt, okay, right there, and uh, the base. It has two bases on each side. We already installed one, so we don't waste your time just watching that. But it will be equivalent for the for the other ones. Need to use. You have eight bolts that are the same, square bolts, okay. You need to place them in the canal. You need to get it like that. You need a lock washer, okay, and those plastic nuts. The ones that you have eight out of them. The ones that are four, you use on the outside. We'll show you later. Okay, and we're not going to get them tight because we need to adjust it on the vehicle. We don't know exactly where they're going to be yet. Okay, and something else that we will need to do now. Okay, we will need to install the caps right here. So you can push that seal out of the way, install the cap, and usually, we use a rubber hammer for that purpose. Okay, like that, this one is in. And then we'll install the other one. Okay, now we'll need to cut on top. So we'll need to make it a little bit shorter so the plastic cap can go in it. Okay, like that. That's how we do it. And that's what the manual says that we should do. Okay, use the plastic rubber hammer and push the plastic cap back on the thing. So we have this one ready as well. We need to install the rubber. Okay, the rubber on the base there. And now we need to adjust them on the car. Okay guys, so we got one of them on already so we can see how exactly everything works and we'll show you on the second one exactly identical procedures stay with us this thing is really really good okay i've seen people complaining but if you do it right you can okay you can shake the whole car with it it's really good so it comes with uh, three different okay end pieces and you need to pick the one that uh, fits your vehicle in a really good way as you can see this one fits the best of all so that will be the one that we'll be using now. Okay, we get everything now. We need two big plastic cups, two square bolts, okay, and the two end pieces, and the bar itself. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. And uh, what's cool about it, it actually comes with a, uh, with a protective tape, soft tape, so we'll show you that. You need to get some tape measure so you can make sure that the left and right side are in identical position. Okay, so this is the protective tape that it was sent, that soft tape. 
Okay, so we'll install it right here now. And it's easy to peel off. Believe me, you can even uh, redo it if you need to. Then you need to lift it up, get the square bolt through the hole. Okay, and it's not as easy as it sounds because it's a small bolt, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Make sure that the rubber goes down all the way. Okay, now we can install the thing. And, okay. Okay, and don't get, don't get it tight. We just need to get it there. And you need to have the bottom nuts. Okay, I'm talking about these nuts right here. Loose. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we installed the protective tape here as well. And now we are going to go ahead, get the bolt through the hole. And uh, we will just, okay, install the plate and what we'll need to do, you need to make sure that it has some pressure on it. So that's why we have the nuts loose so we can see exactly where things need to be. Okay, you need to make sure that it will put some down pressure on it. So it's a little bit hard to explain exactly what we're striving for guys, but I'll show you in just a little bit. So you will need to have just a little bit of room right here on the bottom so when you get it tight, okay, it can bring that pressure. So we set it at this side so we can go ahead and get this, uh, uh, this nut actually loosen, uh, my bad, tight on now, okay, and we'll remove it to get them tight all the way. Okay guys, so stay with us, uh, tomorrow morning we have the surfboards, drive it for about 200 miles and see if it's gonna stay, you need to go and get it tight on each side, a little bit on one side, then on the other side. That's why it's recommended to have two people for that job. Okay, you gotta make sure that everything is centered, everything is good, everything is sturdy before you actually drive on the road. And just grab them with your hand, check them, make sure that everything, everything is good. And you can see this one doesn't move at all. So, pretty good so far, stay with us. Let's give it a test drive now and see how it works. Oh, you guys saw the surface right here now. Oh, you guys, so we're at the beach. Drove quite a bit, about two, three hours today, and the thing is holding really, really good. No problems at all. You can see, you can shake the whole car. So, we'll definitely recommend it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys next time.